You agree? They seem to be following the media I than the other way around. No, I fully agree with you, Arunab, because the manner in which Mr. Vijay Malia left this country appears to be, to me at least, to be an act of collusive criminality, which is being wrapped up in some kind of minor form of government negligence yeah, and exactly. finally will be projected as institutional innocence. Yeah. The truth is that on 29th July, CBI had filed an FIR. In October, there was a lookout notice which mysteriously got downplayed to an information changed, notice. Changed. He was interrogated. He was under infest investigation by the SEBI, by SFIO. And even more importantly, on 28th February, the consortium of banks were planning to move on the next day. That's right. A motion to either arrest him or prevent him from leaving the country. Yeah. But mysteriously, again, they bring this matter up only on the 5th of March. And Mr. Malia has left on the 2nd of March. Very convenient. Now, who do we ask the questions to? Obviously to the government. Obviously to the government. And, and obviously then and to the government and then if this has been their track record we wonder what they're going to do to get him back precisely so you need to answer the unanswered questions tonight Sambit Patra you allow him to flee India I don't know where else in the world something like this would have been allowed been allowed to happen I mean what's up 12 days since Malia left the country right right at the outset will you squarely state Sambit Patra where is Vijay Malia <coughs> as we speak where is Vijay Malia First and foremost, uh, Mr. Pawan Verma was speaking against the government. Well, in a democratic country, he has every right to do so. But Mr. Verma, did you question your Mahagathbandhan partner, Congress, as to why there the Congress allowed the government to There you go. 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 I mean, Mr. Vijay Malia may be having four days and an option of Mumbai or Melbourne, but this government has only one option, that is the rightful intention of retrieving every penny that Mr. Vijay Malia owes to the public exchequer. And let me tell you, this is the only government which has shown the spine and the rightful intention. Because just compare 2011, what the then Prime Minister... Stop Mr. giving Mr. yourself a certificate, Sambit Patra!